A common notion among scholars, military commanders, and senior officials is that the United States is vulnerable to a Pearl Harbor-scale cyber attack. We've already seen this kind of activity, but on a smaller scale as there have been successful attempts by both foreign and domestic hackers to penetrate and disrupt both public and private networks in the United States. Applying the Pearl Harbor analogy to characterize a cyber attack conjures up compelling images of a bolt-out-of-the-blue, devastating surprise attack, but a more sophisticated and historically informed retelling of the events leading up to the December 7, 1941 attack on Oahu would suggest that the Pearl Harbor analogy is somewhat misleading. In other words, the Japanese strike on Pearl Harbor can be characterized as something other than a bolt-out-of-the-blue attack. Nevertheless, Using the Pearl Harbor analogy to characterize a potential cyber attack does provide insights into a specific political, strategic, and operational setting that makes strategic surprise, deterrence failure, and war more likely. The United States is vulnerable to a cyber Pearl Harbor, and it is possible to anticipate why and how it will occur by taking a look at the strategic setting that makes the United States a potential target of a surprise attack. The operational setting that makes cyber attack an attractive element of a strategic surprise on the United States. The serious challenges facing intelligence analysts as they contemplate the prospect of a cyber Pearl Harbor. And reducing the likelihood of a cyber-based surprise attack on the United States.